Stennis State and Indiana Gold Hunter. Uh, this week, or actually what I'm doing this time, uh, on the shooting is, if you can see over my shoulder in the background, I've been uh, coming down for the last couple months. Uh, just got a four inch uh, pro line dredge uh, about three weeks ago or so. Uh, learning how to use it. Uh, by no means am I a, uh, an expert miner. I'm still learning just like everyone else, even though I've been doing, you know, panning since uh, 2003. But while I was down here with a buddy of mine, uh, Chris Russo, there were some other dredgers down here uh, running. And to me, I don't know, I'm, I'm going to do some testing on it uh, from their tailings pile. It looked like they were really running their dredges awful fast. So I'm going to see, run it through my earthquake classifier. Let me show you what, what I've got. Uh, right there it is. They were running these holes. I was actually, me and Chris Russo was right down over here, uh, running in a hole. So there's tailing piles. Let me grab one of my buckets. I'll take you down here and show you. So instead of running my dredge today, I'm going to do some testing on the tailing piles. We got, you can see right here, some of the some of the big piles have been moved. Uh, and I love it because uh, the next big flood that comes through here, all right here where the water is, man, that's gonna it's gonna fill right back up. It's gonna replenish itself. There'll be more gold in it. So that that's a good thing. We've been removing a lot of lead and iron uh, from this from this creek or any creek that we actually dredge in or pan in. Okay, so right here is. Where I'm going to be running my earthquake classifier that I have. And uh, this is going to be the test one of my tailing pile that we have. Um, and this pile here was from a big four inch dredge. And I do believe that a couple of these other piles, uh, I know one of them had a two inch dredge, but I think that, that might have been from this pile. And then this other big pile, I think. It was from the four inch, but either way, uh, I'm just gonna. Actually, there's a couple of uh, tailing piles right there too. I think that was from the two inch also. So I'm gonna work all this through my uh, earthquake classifier and uh, see what I can get. We recovered some pretty good gold uh, from a couple days ago, uh, further up north. Uh, they're still from this point. They're still like. Uh, I believe a little over a mile of this creek. Beautiful creek. It, uh, you know, we had we had some rain, some rain up north. Um, the water came up about six inches in a day's time. It had already come back down. Uh, as you can see, the waterfall right there, all that was underwater, all this underwater. But it was up and come back down. We'd be getting rain mainly at night. So this is what I got. I'm gonna gonna run my earthquake classifier and uh, then uh, do the testings and then I'll try to pick back up on the video where I'm taking these uh, the sailing pile and run it through my gold cube and uh, show you from there <laughs> 